It's the 16th of October and it's time for the 16th film in my 31 Horrors of Might. Now, this one we're going back, to, I don't know why I said now like that, now, listen to me, um, sorry, yeah, we're going back now to 1973 and we're dealing with a forgotten classic, shall we say, you know, it's a classic of the era for the main reason that it's got three important people involved with it. It stars Christopher Lee and Peter Cushing and it's directed by Freddie Francis, three people involved heavily with uh, horror of, of that era and, and uh, you know, really important to it. So this film is called The Creeping Flesh and it's a period piece, uh, much like uh, some of the Hammer Studio uh, pictures. And it involves uh, Peter Cushing's character being a, a scientist who brings back this skeleton from abroad and he uh, starts to realise that this skeleton when you uh, put water on it or when it touches water that the flesh starts to grow back on the skeleton and that obviously if you put enough water onto the skeleton that it would perhaps come back to life. Um, the main part of the film is the, the idea that evil is a virus it's a sickness. The evil isn't something that is inherent to mankind. It's something which you can catch. And that's the sort of idea be behind the film. So it sort of follows people that have been infected by it as well as the film goes on. Um, Christopher Lee plays a doctor who runs a, a an insane asylum. And he's like really actually quite a sort of nasty piece of work, to be honest. Um, who would have thought it from Christopher Lee, you know, I mean, Dracula was such a lovely, caring character, but, you know, anyway, I mean, he, he really does play, like, quite a sort of nasty piece of work, um, and is very competitive with Peter Cushing's character, and very dismissive of what, of Peter Cushing's, um, of Peter Cushing's, uh, theories and discoveries. You've also got this side story about Peter Cushing's relationship with um, his wife, he has a daughter and it's kind of, there's a little bit of mystery as to what happened to the wife, what happened to the mother um, and yeah that's really as much as I can I can say about it um, I think it's a great little film, it's something that I watched recently and it's one which well, while I was watching it I was sitting thinking hmm, maybe I've seen this film before I don't know uh, it was actually recommended to me, I think, by one of you guys. Um, it was one of the one of the videos when I was doing the Amicus review series. I'm so so sorry that I just I've just remembered that now. That that's why I watched this film. Someone recommended it, so I'm really sorry that I didn't look to remember who it was that recommended. It. But um, it's a film which uh, it's it's enjoyable. It's good. It's got the whole sort of period uh, thing going on. Um, it's got some interesting ideas in it and I think it's got a lot in common in some ways with another film called Horror Express but we might get that, to that one later um, I, I would really recommend watching this one especially if you're, if you're a fan of Hammer or Amicus at the time as well then you will most probably like this one and at the end of the day it's got Peter Cushing and Christopher Lee in it and they're just you know the two best uh actors to put together I think in, in any sort of horror film um, I should say as well that the film has a sort of uh, detective element to it as well because uh, there are people committing crimes and uh, people are trying to find the perpetrators of it because this is to do with the the, um, the infection of, of evil spreading so yeah that's The Creeping Flesh there's not really too much more I can say about it just go and check it out um, it's it's enjoyable. I don't think it's quite up there with some of the other, you know, Amicus films or Hammer films. But it's it's a it's a good solid horror film, and you're always really happily and pleasantly surprised when you find a film that's got people involved with it that uh, you're a big fan of. And I'm a big fan of Freddie Francis, the director, uh, and I'm a huge fan of Peter Cushing and Christopher Lee. So it's really great to to find a film like this and check it out so interesting ideas good fun 
go check it out. Um, it's a little bit grim in places as well, actually, but uh, let's see. I don't want to ruin it for you. So that's the 16th film. Am I right? Yeah, 16th film. And I will be back tomorrow with the 17th horror of Mike. I don't know what I was doing there. Sorry. <laughs>